we're going to create a Survey123 for data collection in the field, looking into our topic of erosion and the impacts resulting from tourism that we have identified through part one of our inquiry. We will start by heading to our Survey123 application within ArcGIS Online and create a new survey. For this example, we will be utilizing the help of the new AI feature in Survey123. If you have yet to activate your AI, the instructions have been linked below. We began by giving our survey a title. and adding our inquiry, human activities impacting erosion. We then asked our AI to create us a Survey123 investigating erosion on the beach due to human activities. We needed our survey to include a map, level of erosion at our site, evidence of 4x4 driving, evidence of camping, evidence of appropriate signage and fencing, evidence of reduced vegetation, and finally, any potential solutions for reducing erosion impacts at this site. We're also going to add a picture to this survey to see the sites we are investigating. Here you can see I can add anything or edit anything and modify anything that the AI has created to my specific requirements. Once you have made your edits and you're happy with your survey, we're going to go ahead and publish it and share it with our students via the QR code. We then went out in the field to collect the erosion data at Rainbow Beach. Once we return to the classroom, we can see that the Survey123 has automatically analysed our field data, creating charts, graphs and maps for each individual question. Finally, Survey123 will create an ArcGIS Online layer for your data. This layer can be added to the original map we created at the start of this unit to show primary and secondary data on the same map. By saving this layer and adding it to your original map via the Add My Content option. This data shows ground truthing of the original erosion layer and shows areas where camping and 4x4 are prolific is the worst impacted by erosion, giving our students a relationship and a sophisticated map to discuss.